This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, The Toolbox, where we showcase the latest and greatest software tools so you can use them to better your security. I have an awesome tool to show you guys today. Let's take a look at Hydra. Hydra is a multi-threaded authentication brute force tool. It supports numerous protocols, including FTP, HTTP, IMAP, IRC, SSH, and more. This tool is written in C and was initially developed by Van Hauser and Roland Kessler. And it is now maintained by the Hacker's Choice Research Group. Now, you're probably wondering how to use this tool. We'll take a look at this great example. In this demo, we will learn how to target an HTTP authentication form using Hydra. We are going to use Pentester Academy's web challenge as a target. First, let's try to log in with random credentials to find the URL parameters. We can observe that the email and password parameters are being used to pass users' input. Hence, we need a username and password list. The attacker can use publicly available lists or use generator tools like Crunch to generate them. To keep this demo short, we have created smaller lists with real credentials in them. We need to set multiple options to launch the brute force attack. We also need to specify a target host and method. As we are targeting HTTP-based form, we will use HTTP GET method and provide the URL of the challenge with special identifiers for email and password parameter values. This is done so that the Hydra can identify and replace these with real values from the list. Using L defines the username list and P defines the password list to be used, and T defines the number of simultaneous threads to be used. After launching the attack, we can observe that after failing in some attempts, Hydra tried the valid credentials and succeeded. Now we can use these credentials to log into the challenge. In a similar manner, we can use Hydra to brute force other services. So that means time to replace all your easy passwords with more complex ones. Well, that's all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tool breakdown. Be sure to tune in next time for another episode of The Toolbox. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.